What is up, viewers? It is Matthew here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you a few card forces you can do on random people. <laughs> random people, that's funny. Okay, this deck isn't that... It's new, I got it like a week ago, but it's already old because I use it. Well, yeah, I use it so much. One of the um, forces is going to involve cutting a card. If you don't want to cut the cards, then skip ahead to the next one. Okay, so... Pick any card that you want. Any card. Actually, just do this. Alright, here, let me, let me find let me find the card. So, it is going to involve cutting the card. I'm telling you that now so, you, so I don't forget later. Because, you know, I always forget. I, I forget a bunch of stuff. I, you can choose any card for this matter. I like choosing the king because it's super easy. Super easy to look for. I'm trying to find this. It's my, it may not be in here right now. I think it's in here. Uh, no. Okay, this is a fail, guys. I'm trying to see how this card neatly so I can. Oh, yeah, here it is. What is. What, that's not the card that I cut. What's that stupid? This is so stupid. Okay, tell me the first card you see in here. Ready? Is this it? Nope. Okay. Tell me the first card you see in here. Go. Oh yeah, here, here. I just didn't want to do that right now. Okay. So how? So you're gonna how this trick works is you're gonna find any card. So it also you want to force an ace on someone. Random. Four. So let's say you're on four, say maybe six of dimes. Six of dimes. Throw that aside and put it together with this. So you put this card in front of a card you want. So let's say you want someone to pick this, put this in front of that. So it goes like that. And then you put it anywhere in the deck. I prefer putting it somewhere in the back, but you can put it wherever. I mean, part in the back is way better, but it's kind of. Put it kind of in the back of this and just slide it in there. No one will ever know. You can even shuffle it, I don't know. And then you like, tell me the first card you see in there. And right on the card that you're going to pick, it has a little gap. So when you do this, see, so this kind of goes slowly. And it'll kind of get a little millisecond of a thing. So, Whatever you see right here, it'll, it'll keep going, but it'll stop it for like a second. Like, it looks like this. See it? And then there. So, like, let's just do this. What card do you want? It'll, so, it'll stop on that. You can go. So, it'll be like, uh, six of diamonds. I'm like, but I'll just say, don't say it. It'll be like, okay. And then I'm like, I'll find your card for you, okay? I'll find it, blah, blah, blah. Just say it. Don't be dazzled. Okay, that's nine. I'm, sorry, I'm stupid. It'll be somewhere in here, and that's how to do it. Ready? All right, let's do the next card. But you gotta, um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Get a random card, random, completely random, and cut a little bit off of it. For this demonstration I'm using, I'm gonna use this card. Just cut it, use some scissors, and cut a little bit off the top. Okay, do this, cut a little bit, maybe like a quarter of an inch, just cut. Just even as it can, I'm not very even, but that'll be fine. Just cut the whole top off. They won't even notice it, and it'll be unnoticeable. So that's the first force. The second force is I'm gonna bring you guys down here so you can see that. So, you can see so it is called the cross force. That kind of sounds it sounds really difficult, but it's not. All all you need to do is look at the card on top. Hand spades and tell them to cut it wherever. Let's say you do this. And if they don't know, but get this and put it right here. And they'll be like, hey, you want to see something cool? Get this card. Pretend I can't see it. I can see it, but pretend I can't. Well, you will be able to see it. You will know what it is. So hands up, put it in the middle of the desk, and is this a card? They'll be like, yeah. So it's a cross force like this. So, hey, you want to see So never know if this was on the top. Sorry about everyone saying that. Oh, 
Okay. That's how this third forest is my favorite. You see this right here? It's the Joker. Okay? You'll know. So what you're gonna do is you wanna just say pretend you just tell the audience to say stop. Stop. It says say stop right there. Flip it over, do the same thing, except say say stop a little bit and you begin. Stop. Flip it over again. And remember it was a joker, right? It's a joker. Perfect. Now it's actually very self explanatory. All you gotta do is do this. Tell them to say stop, stop. Look at the top part. Seven part, so Say, but you, you got to do that before. So you say stop. So you say stop right here. And then and you flip it over. And then say stop a little bit lower. Stop. You flip it over. The first, so when you do this, the first card you see that is flipped over. Okay, what am I doing? The first card you see that is flipped over right here will be the card. And then you just do your magic on it. So, tie that another way. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Did I forget anything else? I don't think I did. I think that concludes this video. Does it conclude the video? Oh, the pinky break. I hate this one. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Put your pinky right there. So find your card. Let's say you want a nine of clubs. Just put your pinky right there. And just kind of, and just kind of, mix with everything. Just even just, and run your thing and say stop. And they'll, and they'll, um. This is kind of, whenever they say, they say stop, bring it under and do this. So let's say, so, 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 so stop or you want me to stop. Stop. You gotta, so what you want to do is you'll, you'll be, you'll be with three cards because when you say stop, you'll be left with this one. You'll be with three cards. You break the one, this one right here, and this one. What you want to do is you want to bring the, the one you broke with your, the pinky break right here, you want to bring it under as long as you brought it like that, and it'll be like that. So, let me show you a demonstration. My battery's on 10%, whatever. You do this, stop. Oh, okay, that was a fail. Pinky break on a pink part. Okay. You just kind of do it, do this stop. Warm. Get your break. Let's say this is stop right there. Get your break, go under like this. They won't even know the card. Go under and just I to bring them out. Tell me in the comments, is this is real. Stop right here. Gotta find your break. See, I'm not gonna, I, I can't do that one. I'm very sorry, I can't do it. And this is the hardest one. This is the um, one where you, this is a very hard one, okay? So, very hard, I'm telling you. This is the last one, very hard. I have never done this. So you find a random card, maybe put a little, so you, you find a card, okay? And you just put the tiniest little cut, like just super tiny. Enough for you to know. People will not notice that cut. You probably didn't notice it. You put it right here, and then you'll be like, okay. You'll be flipping through a card, you'll be like, okay, ready? Well, flip through these cards, and you're going to use a lot of your um, index finger, your ring finger. And once you see that card with the um, slit, not this one, once you find that card with the slit, I can't find it, okay. Once you find that card with the slit, they'll be like, let's say they pick this card right there. You, you, um, you look at your thing and just kind of, like I say, they say, stop, and you just kind of, so let's say they pick a card, Let's say they pick a card right here. You just put this card in the way of that card. So they'll be like, okay, and then blah, blah, blah. That's how you do the force. Watch the next video. See how you do um, some magic tricks.